Andy here. All right, so I've uh, done a few different things um, since the last video. Check out my other videos. Uh, this is more of a uh, blog type thing. Uh, I let you guys uh, walk through this dumpster fire with me on uh, all the mistakes of trying to build my own modular power wall. Um, so yeah, anyways, I replaced as many of these batteries as possible in this power wall. This this wall has over 503 um, batteries in it. It's somewhere around 503. Let's see. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so I want to do a load test soon. I've replaced as many of them as possible. I've updated them. The lowest is uh 4650 4520 yep 4520 is, this is the lowest battery everything else is in the 6000s 5000 milliamp hours uh for those of you not following uh following me regularly this is how i have 5100 you know, 6,000 milliamp hours on each battery, okay? Because um, it's a lot less work to just snip them um, off because they come in groups of two. Um, you just, you know, you just have to trim them. And then uh, it's a lot easier, it's a lot faster. Um, they've lived together their entire lives, so they're pretty sunk up. Um, these are all bad ones here, and then up here are all very bad ones. Down here, down here, there's all these, and then a few more there. Then there and there, there's some uh, mid-range ones. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I did sell a bunch too, but yeah, there's quite a few batteries everywhere. Uh, these ones need to be spot welded. I need to buy a spot welder. Um, check out, um, what's his name? Uh, Average Joe on YouTube. He just released a video. A pretty, like, you have to build it yourself, but it's a pretty good uh, spot welder. I'm going to be working on that eventually, but other projects came up that don't involve a spot welder that may have to take its place. So this is my um, UPS, modified UPS. Um, watch my previous videos to understand it. It's about 1,000 watt hours, so on here it would say 1,000 watt hours if you went from full to drained. And okay, so that's that stuff. Next is going to be my electronics stuff. Oh yeah, so I got to finish talking about this. So right now it's charging at 14.4. It was charging very steady at 29 amps. Um, it just decided to work properly, no reason for it, absolutely none. Um, so there's 36.4 volts coming off of this power supply into this boost converter. And this boost converter is not turned on, it's not running. And it goes from there straight. And for some reason, going through this boost converter just makes it acceptable for this MPPT to accept the um, the current flow so yeah um, most of the time it just it ramps up to 30 amps and then it resets to zero and it just keeps going up and down absolutely no reason for it um, one one youtuber oh, just a sec okay uh, we're already at four minutes it's crazy anyways uh, I'm gonna have to go through this, since there's a lot I didn't realize but um as far as this guy's concerned so Eric um, told me that I need to I need to actually hook up solar to test it but that's not the problem I have with the problem I have with this is that this one it resets when you go over amperage whereas I'd prefer an MPPT that dials down the amperage um, doesn't just like turn off and then turn back on because I get this feedback loop. Now, one thing that was good is uh, Boss Jan Trancar, he said that um, I should maybe put a heat sink on the back. And I told him, 
Well, no, because the fan's not even turning on. It just keeps turning, it goes to zero amps, then it ramps up, and then it immediately drops to zero. It just does that infinitely, like there's no heat buildup. But then I got thinking, maybe, maybe the problem isn't that, it's, it's this guy. Because this is where the heat sink is, and maybe it's too close, maybe there's a sensor right here. Because they're not, they're not really touching, there's a bit of gap, but... Um, but even then, I mean, it's, it's like a media, as soon as I turn this on, so the heat hasn't built up on this guy yet, and this guy's already turning off and turning on just constantly, so this thing isn't putting out any amperage, so it's not heating up when this thing is in a feedback loop, so, I don't know, um, it's working right now, but it makes no sense why it's working right now. But it works, like, it can do, it was doing 25 amps, it's supposed to handle 40 amps, I've never seen it go even close to that. I've seen it hit up to 33 and then turn off and turn back on, which is another big problem I have with it. I've never seen it achieve 40 amps, or even close to that. Maybe 33, and then it turns off for 35, so that's another problem I have, and yeah, you're saying, like, I've watched videos, and the, the real Make Sky Blues are exact same problem, where they turn off if the amperage goes too high. So it doesn't matter if I buy a proper Make Sky Blue one, because they're going to have the same problem. And I'm trying to eliminate parts, like having this stupid boost converter is dumb. Um, so, but, I mean, I do appreciate it. Now, what did you mean by YT land? Um, in YT land. I don't know what that means. Um, but anyways, uh, otherwise, I mean, that's just, that's, like, obviously, if you were running solar panels, yeah, you probably wouldn't run into that problem. Who knows? But... That's not what I'm doing, and I'm not putting solar panels up, because I don't pay for my electricity. So, I'm just like, you know, I can do up to 25 amps, it seems, right now. No reason why, no clue why. But, um, this thing, this setup I have right now, it seems to do 25, but for $70, instead of like, I paid 180 then I paid, like, I don't know how much for this thing. Like, I'll have to, you gotta look back at my other videos, but I paid a lot of money just, just to charge at 25 amps when I could have just spent $70. Well, at the time, it didn't exist. That's why I did this whole system, is because these power bricks didn't get past 4 amps. These small power bricks that I use, they didn't go, they didn't sell ones past 4 amps, but now they're selling 15 amp ones for $70. It's cheaper in American money, right? So, that solves the problem, but I was already stuck on, you know, this little venture. Where I figured I could just have this go into this instead of having the power brick. But it, at the end of the day, you're just better off with the power brick. And then this going to solar, so that you're not, like, possibly breaking your MPPT by shoving electricity into it that might not be good for it, but anyways, that's, that's that done, um, yeah, see, I, I changed these out, um, I put these three-prong weird ones in, they're from some of my first videos, they're really weird, um, let's see, you see that, they, uh, they're really weird, but they're really high, 6600 like very high so put them in there so that i can get rid of ball necks i'm about to start another load test um i think i'll do it tomorrow i'm gonna have to look at my schedule um but yeah i'm gonna do another load test and see how long it lasts so i'm charging it up right now trying to get it to 29.4 and then we'll move forward from there so that's done all right next uh, i want to quickly uh, I should have done this at the start, but I want to address um, all the comments and all the new subscribers. So, uh, new subscribers, um, you might not be super new, but i just like to uh, mention you. Thank you for subscribing to Albin, James, Explanation Point, JS, uh, Solar USA, 
Loga Nathan, uh, Daniel Zenner, uh, CRSBT. I do like uh, your comments. I appreciate um, you sharing your information. Uh, CRSBT, I really do appreciate that. Thanks, man. And yeah, I know these are ugly. I am <laughs> I know they're ugly. I showed uh, I show pictures of all my power walls to my grandma, and she's like, "That's uh that's aesthetically ugly." And I'm like, I'm like, okay, grandma, like give me a break. I'm <laughs> I'm trailblazing here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and um, yeah, I guess you're like. You're double thinking, uh, maybe doing my way where you do two batteries together. You don't cut them apart. Uh, I do strongly recommend it. Um, but you are going to have a whole bunch of questionable ones. So then you'd get your spot welder and you'd, you'd you know, all the ones that aren't, aren't, um, you have to do res internal resistance testing. You can see some of them like this one says 58, that one's 62, uh, 10, 10, so... 37 so you got to do internal resistance tests and if it doesn't add up and the battery's not holding you got to cut them apart like all these and then uh, spot weld them up into pairs of two again uh, or just like sell them just resell them like all these ones are too low they can work on other projects but they're just too low but anyways, that's probably that so anyways, um, yeah, um, other new subscribers Dennis, uh Croom, Crooms, thank you, uh, Daryl Rogue, Johnny Mitchell, uh, Roy Guerrero, uh, Strongman, so, uh, thank you for subscribing, uh, quite a few, uh, new subscribers over the past, uh, three or four weeks, or five, four weeks or more, but, uh, especially lately, so I really appreciate that, um, I'm sorry my videos are so long, uh, and this is gonna be another long video, so, yeah, <laughs> you know, it is what it is, but, uh, anyway, so the next thing I did is I finally replaced the fuse, I only had a 25 amp fuse, so I, I replaced it, put it in there, it works really good, um, the only problem is, um, I blew up one of these guys, I'm gonna put two of these guys in instead of using these guys on here, uh, this thing can go up to 60 amps, so this can only handle 30 amps, so it blew it up as soon as I plugged it in, because I didn't even think that it would be that high, but this thing does work. It does boost. Um, there's the info right here. So I paid nine dollars Canadian. So yeah, 400 watts, 15 amps, 8.5 to 50 volts, boosted to 10 to 60 volts. So yeah, it does control. Also, I haven't I haven't tested out the amperage output control yet, but you know whatever. I'll um. I'll work on that later or something. Uh, I think maybe this thing might have broke. I don't know why. I don't know what could have happened. But I've been pretty rough on it. This thing definitely fried. Um, can't even recognize. Oh, you recognize what it is? Yeah, I, I took it apart. So this uh, $20 thing. It's got a whole bunch of, like, MOSFETs on it. And that's it. Like, no coils. There's just tiny coils in there, so... I don't know, I guess it's like, it's probably some kind of boost converter, it's not a buck converter, I'm not really sure, I'm not really sure, it's probably just a boost converter, but anyway, so it stopped working, so I had to go back to using this old faithful 2 amp charger to get her back up, um, didn't do a very good job. Of charging. Okay, now it's charging again. Strange. Um, it dropped like 0.56. Dropped quite a bit of uh, voltage. It's strange. Something must have uh, been done wrong. Probably the BMS. I had it going through the BMS. Um, I had a theory that um, instead of using these charge controllers, um, if I had these, uh, CCCVs running, like any of these, so I imagine, like, I would need one that perfectly goes to 29.4. If I had a power supply that could actually go to 29.4 properly, then I could just put it into the, through the BMS to charge the batteries, 
and that's it. I wouldn't need any other parts. Um, I ordered another one of these. I ordered a lot of different parts. I ordered fuse wire. I'm, I'm going to do it, guys. So, my new design. Okay, we're going to have to pull this out. There's a lot of stuff coming down the pipe. So, I'll explain it down here. It's too heavy. So, I'm going to use 214 wire and solder. Solder, like, this strip will all be soldered together. But then when it comes to these ones... They're going to be separate, and I'll have to, like, put something in between the two. And then, like, I'll put fuse wires in between them on the back side. That seems stupid, because then I can't access them to repair them. So I'd have, like, one 214 wire here, one on the other side. And um, then what I want to do... Okay, what I want to do is the 30 AWG copper wire that's tinned, if I can find, I had a few of them below, a few of the fuses, a few of the fuses, a few, a few, so where are they? They blew, oh, there they are, they're well hidden, so here's one of them, what I want to do, so this is how I solved my problem. I just put it in, just, whoops, okay, are we upside down now? No, <laughs> sorry, I don't know what's going on. So anyways, instead of going across there, they would have to jump over this piece of plastic here, right? So, down in here, you'd see like, them hopping over and it's just a straight wire it's not going to be a glass fuse i couldn't find the link someone sent me a link once telling me like hey just buy these they're cheap and i didn't have it saved so each everywhere where you see silver all along here so for each cell would be a tiny piece of wire jumped over so it's it's a lot more work but then it's fused because I worry too much about this stuff. Um, not being fused at the batteries is is very um, stressful. Just thinking about it is stressful. So I'm just going to have to spend the time jumpering them. I've bought a lot of different parts and they'll be coming in eventually. But um, busy, busy guys. Busy, busy. I'm also trying to fix this amplifier. It's not broken. It's just um, it uses these crappy... Um, headphone jacks, these like, what, 2.5 mil or 3.5 mil, something like that. So I gotta resolder that, because I want to put that into my computer. But yeah, um, that's, that's it. Um, yeah, the video is only 20 minutes long. <laughs> so I'm uh, really sorry about that, guys. I mean, I should probably eventually stop apologizing, because, uh, seems like every video is just super long so if you you stuck through it you um you listen to the whole video see it's up at 18 amps now it's weird it's it hasn't ramped down which is good but that makes no sense why is it working now and it would never work before so anyways thank you for sticking through to the end i really appreciate it um let me know what you think about any of this stuff um Especially with this thing, because this seems to be a topic of um, interest. Uh, some people really seem to defend Make Sky Blue pretty heavily. Um, you know, it's I can get one of these for like 90 bucks Canadian instead of 200 So if I had bought it for 90 bucks, I wouldn't be bitching at all right now. But I bought it for like 180 bucks. Right, and it's a fake one. It's not even the real Make Sky Blue. So I got two problems on top of the software problem and the hardware problem that I discussed earlier. So, you know, um, but it's working right now. So I don't know. 18 amps is pretty good. And the nice thing is, I can just buy solar panels and literally plug them in, and we're done. So, 
but like I said before, I don't pay for electricity. So this is at 20 minutes, sorry. Anyways, let me know your comments, let me know what you think. Have a good day, bye.